Now let's take question number 10 of this paper. Write IUPAC name of the complex. What's the complex? PT E and hold by Cl2. Here's the ligand that is ethane 1, 2 diamine. Draw the structure of geometrical isomers of this complex. Another two mark question. And here you have to write the IUPAC name. This will give you one mark. And if you draw the correct geometrical isomers of this complex, you will obtain one mark. So the name of this complex is dichlorido bis. Why bis? Because we are taking this diidentate ligand ethane 1, 2 diamine and platinum 2, the oxidation number I have mentioned here. This is the full IUPAC name of this complex. Further, if I talk about the geometrical isomers of this complex, definitely it will form geometrical isomers because it has ethane 1, 2 diamine here and those geometrical isomers are cis and trans isomer. You can clearly see this is the trans isomer of this complex and this is the cis isomer of this complex. These are the two geometrical isomers and definitely this will give you one mark for the IUPAC name and one mark for drawing both the geometrical isomers. If you draw a structure of one isomer, you will obtain half mark. If you draw this also, then you will get full one mark. I hope this question is clear to you. Now, this question also has the internal choice and that is why if you attempt the second part that is here, that can also give you two mark. Let us check the question using IUPAC norms, write the formula of the following. Another question based on the coordination chemistry and the complex name is given, you have to write its formula. Hexaamine cobalt 3 sulfate, further potassium trioxalato chromate 3. You have to write this formulae for these two compounds. For the first compound, the formula is hexamine cobalt 3 sulfate. It means hexamine 6 NH3 ligands are there and further cobalt is there and sulfate ion are there. This is the correct chemical formula for this compound. Further potassium trioxalato chromate, it means ligand is oxalate ion. Three oxalate ions are present here along with chromium. The formula is K3. CrC2O4 whole thrice these are the names of this compound and on the basis of that we have written here the formulae that is why this will give you one mark and this also give you one mark. So total two mark you will obtain for this question also. After this there is the turn for next question that is question number 11. Out of the complex COF63 negative and COEN whole thrice 3 positive. We have two complexes here. You have to find out which complex is paramagnetic, more stable, inner orbital complex and high spin complex. It means you need to just find out four different things on the basis of these complex you will do so. And one more thing, atomic number of cobalt is also given for your convenience. So simply we can solve this question by first considering the electronic configuration of cobalt because its atomic number is given. So, we can easily write its electronic configuration. For cobalt the configuration is 4s2, 3d7 you can clearly see here. And if we talk about COF63 negative in this case the oxidation number of cobalt is plus 3. Similarly in the next complex this is COE and whole thrice 3 positive. In this case also the oxidation number of cobalt is plus 3. So we have to write the configuration for CO plus 3 that is given here 3p6, 3d6. It means from the 4s 2 electrons are removed and from 3d 1 electron is removed and we have its configuration. Now here is the turn for the ligand. If we talk about this fluoride ligand, this is a weak field ligand. While if I talk about ethane 1, 2 diamine, this is a strong field ligand and definitely presence of a weak field ligand or the presence of a strong field ligand will cause the difference here. Let us check about this fluorine. Fluoride is a weak field ligand. That is why the filling of electron would be in this way. You can clearly see here fluoride is a weak field ligand. It will not cause the pairing of electron in 3D orbital and filling of electron is there in this form. The hybridization that occurs here is sp3 d2 and that is why in this case this complex is the outer spin complex. As well as if we talk about the paramagnetism, it is a paramagnetic complex because four unpaired electrons are present here. Similarly, if I talk about the spin, 
that would be high for this complex. We have to check for the next ligand that is ethane 1 to diamine En is here. It is a strong field ligand, it will cause the pairing in 3D orbital and that pairing results in this way. Further the hybridization now becomes D2 sp3 and that is why it is the inner D complex and in this case there is no unpaired electron, it is diamagnetic in nature, spin would be low and on that basis we can simply answer that among COF63 negative and COEN33 positive, the complex COF63 negative is paramagnetic due to the presence of 4 unpaired electron and by writing this you will get half mark. Further, this complex of ethane 1 to diamine with cobalt is more stable, why it is more stable? Because it has chelation here, because this is the chelating ligand that is why it is more stable and if you write so you will get half mark. Further, if we talk about these two complexes, I have already told you this complex is inner orbital complex while COF6 3 negative is outer orbital complex because in this case hybridization is D2 sp3 and if you write so half mark you will get for this. The last thing to identify the high spin complex, I have already told you the number of unpaired electrons were more in case of this complex COF6 3 negative and definitely in this case high spin would be there, more number of unpaired electron more spin would be there and if you write so you will get half mark. So till now total 2 marks you have obtained for this question. I hope this question is also clear to you and after this it is a turn for next question that is question number 12. This is the question which is based on the reaction sequence, right structure of the compounds A and B in each of the following reactions and there are two reactions given and each of them you will get one mark. First we have this compound this is ethyl benzene you can clearly see and it is treated with alkaline KMnO4 to give you product A and when A is hydrolyzed in the presence of acid to give you B. Similarly in second part we have this alcohol treated with chromic oxide to give you A and further it is treated with semi carboxide to give you product B. Let us consider one by one. So, if I talk about the first option, what happens here? This ethyl benzene when treated with alkaline KMnO4, you are obtaining potassium benzoate and further when it is hydrolyzed in the presence of acid, you will obtain benzoic acid. It means for this case you are getting one mark, half mark for identifying this compound and half mark for identifying this compound B. You have A and B both for this section. Now after this the second part, in the second part you have this alcohol, cyclic alcohol we have and it is treated with chromic oxide. When it is treated with this oxide you will obtain ketone. Now when this ketone is treated with semi carboxide you are getting the product B here and if you make the structure of A you will get half mark and for the structure of B you will get half more mark. It means for the previous part you obtain one mark and for the next part you are getting one mark. It means total two marks you are obtaining for question number 12. After that let us move towards section C.